a game. I will show you a picture of a part of the human body. You will tell me its name and what it does. I am ready. This is the nose. It helps us to smell food and other scents. These are the eyes. They help us to see. These are the ears. They help us to hear. This is the tongue. It helps us to taste the food we eat. This is the skin. But I don't know what it does. Mrs. Coco, can you tell us what the skin does? The skin is the body's largest organ as it covers the entire body. It is elastic and waterproof. It performs a few important functions. It's an organ of protection. Spiky, can you tell me how the skin protects our bodies? Well, since the skin covers the whole body, it protects the inner parts of the body from the outside world. Moreover, I think it prevents germs and harmful substances from entering the body. That's very impressive, Spiky. That is one very important function of the skin. The skin also regulates our body temperature. Let me guess. Does it regulate the temperature of the body through sweating? Yes, Bubbles. When sweat evaporates, it removes heat from your skin. This keeps the body cool. Spiky, can you tell me how these objects feel when you touch them? This stone is hard and rough. This wool is soft and smooth. This glass of milk is warm. Ouch! The needle hurts. It has a sharp point at one end. Well done, Spiky. The skin has touch sensors that tell us whether objects are hard or soft, rough or smooth, and cold or warm. In other words, our skin contains a huge number of nerve endings that are sensitive to touch, pressure, pain, and temperature. This shows that the skin also acts as an organ of sensation. Now that we know the functions of the skin, let's take a closer look at the structure of the skin. The skin is made up of three layers. The outermost layer is called the epidermis. The middle layer is called the dermis. And the deepest layer is called the hypodermis. Each layer has its own unique functions. The epidermis is the layer that we can see. It is mostly made up of dead cells. Throughout our lives, these dead cells peel away over time and new cells take their place from the living layers beneath. This layer acts as a protection wall against germs and other harmful substances. The dermis contains the majority of nerve endings, which are sensitive to touch, pressure, pain, and temperature. The dermis also contains sweat glands and blood vessels. The sweat glands release sweat to keep our body cool. The hypodermis is the deepest layer of the skin. It stores fat. Our body needs some fat to cushion and protect our bones and organs. It also helps keep our body warm. I never knew my skin was performing so many functions. Here's a fun fact. Did you know the color of your skin is determined by a substance called melanin found in the epidermis? The more melanin your skin has, the darker your skin will be. To summarize, the skin is the body's largest organ. It protects the inner parts of the body, regulates our body temperature, and allows us to feel objects. The skin is made up of three layers, namely the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. There are nerve cells scattered throughout the skin which are sensitive to touch, pressure, temperature, and pain.